If this is the case for you, you may not be aware of it, but there's one simple trick that can help you figure that out. Now, it's simply, and we're gonna have fun with how we uh, try this out. Well, hello there. So it's been a while since I last made a video. At the end of this one, I'll get into the reasons why, but I know not everybody is interested, so I'm not gonna waste anybody's time. Uh, let's just jump right into the main topic of this one, which is why is it so hard to sing and play at the same time? Now, I think there's really two likely reasons, and one is probably, I don't know, maybe 90% of the time the case, and that's that we might not be as familiar with the guitar part as we think we are, and this would likely apply to other instruments as well, such as piano, but if you consider the fact that we really only have so much brain power to use for things like multitasking, that if we're spending all of our focusing and concentration on our fretting hand or our strumming hand to figure out, okay, what strumming pattern is this or what chord is coming up next, then there's really not going to be enough left over to focus on the vocals as well. Now, what makes this tricky is I think if this is the case for you, you may not be aware of it, but there's one simple trick that can help you figure that out. Now, it's simply, and we're going to have fun with how we uh, try this out, try to play the part that you need to sing over without looking at your hands. Now, uh, I hope you can still hear me, but I'm going to temporarily kidnap myself. Uh, you could just close your eyes or look at the ceiling and uh, see if you can play the part that you need to sing. So I'm going to play the chord progression from the song I put out most recently called Other Side. <laughs> hot in there. So um, I live in Japan, for those don't, that don't know, and it's like living in a bowl of soup. Uh, that's why you can hear my fan this whole video. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I could play that without having any way of seeing my hands, which is a good indicator that I'm going to be able to sing on top of it. Now, um, the other point that I also hinted at that's sort of related to this one is you may be not too familiar with the vocal line. So if you're doing a cover, you just need to really listen to the song and make sure you know what notes you're trying to hit. And if you're writing your own song, well, I have a video I made that actually became quite popular. I guess it's pretty useful for people uh, for finding a vocal melody for your chord progression. So how can you fix these things? Well, just got to practice it. Um, the way I generally do it is that when I have uh, new por uh, chord progressions, I generally just go to the park and play it while sort of spacing out and watching the birds or, or whatever. You could do this while watching TV, but the point is to kind of draw your attention away from your instrument to make things on the instrument more second nature. So basically it's like walking, you don't even need to think about it. And as for the vocal line, well, if you're doing a song, maybe try practicing it, just singing along with the song so you actually know what you're trying to sing. Um, and to be honest, when I am writing songs, I say generally it starts with the chords. Well, I think it's always started with the chords. And honestly, I generally spend probably at least a week just playing the chord progression. And some of that is um, trying to figure out, okay, do I want to like elaborate things, you know, like add hammer-ons or any fancy things like that. But the other point is just getting familiar with it, you know, getting it really comfortable under my fingertips. So it's can be up to you know a week and a half or two weeks of just playing that chord progression in isolation. Of course at first even now trying to see what I'm doing and then sort of just kind of zoning out while I play it and then it's really easy to kind of just go in with the lyrics. So if you found this useful leave me a thumbs up that helps out a lot. Subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos when they come out and if you know other reasons where you found that it's kind of hard to sing and play share it in the comments below because it may help others out as well which is always nice. Now this is where I'm going to get a little bit into about where I've been and why I haven't been making videos too terribly much. So if you're not interested in that, you can feel free to tune out right now. You can close the video, watch something else, uh, go listen to some of my songs. Um, but anyway, so around the turn of the new year, uh, just kind of life things got kind of tough. Um, you know, I don't really see any point in putting it out bluntly. Um, if you are really curious, just go watch the last two songs I put out called Frozen Sea and then the most recent Other Side. And uh, open the description and read the lyrics, and it might give, uh, might give you a little bit more insight than I'm willing to just straight out say. But yeah, it was kind of a lot of trying to figure out what I'm wanting to do, and that's the key word is wanting to do. 
because in terms of this YouTube channel, I want to put out videos to give people ideas to play with music and be creative and have fun. I want to inspire people, you know, to know that music and uh, writing songs isn't just like this big theory, kind of sterile, you know, dry environment, but it can actually be really fun and free and, you know, you can break the rules, do what you want as long as you're having fun sort of a thing. But the problem comes in with the way YouTube works, and this is a conversation that's come up many, many times. I'm sure people watching this have heard other creators complaining about this sort of thing. Um, not as big of a deal for me because I do have a job. I'm not doing YouTube as a job like a lot of folks out there, and so uh, I do have a little bit more freedom. But the problem is that YouTube is more about, you know, playing the algorithm game, you know, trying to follow the trends you need to follow, using the right keywords, creating the thumbnail that's going to get all the clicks, that sort of thing, which it's not really in my scope of interest, right? And so kind of uh, not too sure what to do about that. You know, I can kind of probably just keep doing it, you know, without really thinking too much about it and it'd be fine um, as long as I reach a decent amount of people to help people out and, and give people some inspiration. But um, other than that, the point that's also a bit difficult is that for me, I've had a very non-traditional journey in playing guitar. I've never really had practice routines. Um, I've never, you know, set aside, okay, I'm going to play my scales for 30 minutes every day or anything like this, or I'm going to practice my licks or something like that. It's just not something I've been interested in. You know, it's generally, I learn things when I need to as they come up. And for all the things that I'm really not interested in, I just don't bother putting any time into it. Um, which means I'm not the most apt guitar player. That's totally fine by me. I don't really care. I'm just having fun. Um, you know, so... That's kind of really why I haven't been making videos, because it's a bit hard to think of, okay, how can I put these things that have been helpful for me and these things that I've noticed I've done that uh, were beneficial, how can I put those into a video that's actually going to be digestible? You know, it's going to be something that people are going to be able to watch and immediately be like, okay, I can take this and apply it to my instrument. Because um, for things that are more higher level about, you know, like considering, you know, like uh, the mental aspect or psychological things of guitar, it's not something that you can really instantly use. It's just kind of something to kind of ponder about, so it's not as useful. Um, but unfortunately, those are sort of the things that kind of pop into my head more often than the things that are actually a little bit more technically applicable. So uh, yeah, that's a bunch of rambling. Um, and uh, for those that are uh, kind of curious about other things, and if you've made it this far, a little special treat is to say what's coming up, is that um, I'm currently working on another song, um, and as I live in Japan currently, um, it's going to have Japanese lyrics as well, so some friends of mine here are helping me out with those lyrics. But uh, yeah, it's going to be called English title is Little Girl, and in Japanese it's going to be Otome. And yeah, pretty excited about that, and when those both of those versions are finished, they will be up and uh, viewable here. And people have been asking me for a while to share my songwriting process. So I've sort of been taking mental notes this time as I've been writing the songs, I've even recorded some videos uh, a couple weeks back as I was kind of sorting things out uh, with the chord progressions. And so going to put that out for people who've been asking. You know, some have even gone so far as to suggest I should live stream it, but um, I just don't think that would end well because I have a very, you know, non-methodical approach for writing songs that honestly sometimes takes me months. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can do that and it'll be a window into someone's songwriting world, which, you know, people are never interviewed. Uh, and about the songwriting aspect of things so much. You know, you see musician interviews and they're always like, what was the worst food you had on tour? Or, you know, rock music is dying. How does that make you feel? You know, it's never about, you know, the interesting things the songwriters want to know about. So even if my songwriting process is like totally alien to other people, at least it may offer some sort of interesting insight into how other people work and they may be able to take something home from it as well. So... Um, I'm getting kind of tired of listening to my own voice as I speak, so uh, I'm just going to, you know, cut myself off here. So take care of yourself now. Thanks for tuning in this long if you did, and bye-bye.